Welcome back. Hi, my name is William Sr. and this is John Johnson. We're attorneys at FDAinforce.com. In this segment, we're gonna discuss the Nutrition Facts panel and all the details that go into making one. Uh, one of the things you'll notice about a Nutrition Facts panel is that they all look basically the same. And the reason for that is that they're controlled by a numerous federal regulations. Naturally, we can't cover every regulation here, but uh, we're gonna just touch on a few of the, the common issues that arise in the labeling of, of conventional foods. In this section, uh, we're discussing serving size. Uh, serving size is determined by federal regulations. Typically, this means the reference amount customarily consumed, which is itself determined by a federal regulation. <laughs> um, typically, for a drink, that means eight fluid ounces. Now, here we have one squig. Obviously, that isn't gonna quite be the correct amount. Eight fluid ounces? How come when I pick up my can of Coke and look at it, it says one can, but the can is 12 fluid ounces? Are you saying Coca-Cola is not comply with federal regulations? No, you're right. Um, even within the regs, there's wiggle room. Uh, the regulations allow you to uh, choose between one or two serving sizes if it's close between the two. Okay. Uh, the next, sec next section of the nutrition facts panel that a lot of firms have difficulty with or problems that we see in a lot of different labels is the order of the nutrients. Um, the regulations specify the precise order that the nutrients have to appear in, and there's no uh, variation. There are exceptions, but there's no variation. The, the main exception that you will see in a lot of nutrition facts panel, as you uh, see that they're trying to do on this label, is the simplified format, and that allows them to omit certain of the ingredients or certain of the nutrients. The other part of the nutrition facts panel where we see a lot of issues is the order of nutrients. Uh, federal regulations dictate the order that the nutrients have to be declared within the panel. It dictates the lines that space between them, uh, the indentations. Now, virtually everything within the panel is controlled by federal regulations. That's calories, carbohydrates, fats, all the way down to the calcium levels are dictated by regulation. So I appreciate that the order is wrong, that calories should be first, followed by total fat. But where's dietary fiber? Where's sugars? How come they're not declared on this? Well, it is suspicious, uh, given that this is a, a juice drink, there's no sugar. Um, but it may be, I mean... I don't know enough about the product to say for sure, but there is a thing called a simplified format. When a food qualifies for that, they may omit certain of the nutrients if they don't have, if the nutrient isn't present in an appreciable amount. The final area we want to touch on are math errors. We see this on a lot of labels. Um, federal regulations determine uh, the rounding of the nutrients, uh, how you declare the quantities, that is, and the percent native values for each one. If you look at this label, you'll see that they have the carbohydrate percentage wrong as well as uh, the declaration of calories is incorrect. Now naturally, uh, there are probably other errors that are apparent right on the label. Uh, we haven't even begun to scratch the surface of all the different uh, regulatory problems that, that you can encounter on a nutrition facts panel. Now once again, this is, my name is Bill and this is John. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the rest of our videos.